Hello, my name is Tyrone Hampton. I'm the city council member here in the city of Pasadena for the first district. And today I'm here at 24 Hour Fitness in Hastings Ranch. This fantastic master trainer, Glenn, is going to uh, go over some basic exercises that you can do at home. All right. I'm Glenn Payne, I'm the fitness manager over here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show Tyrone how we can do some basic exercise that goes from flexibility, mobility, and some strength training. You can also do this at home if you have some weights and a stability ball, but if you don't, you're more than welcome to come down to the gym. Ready to get started? Ready to get started. All right. Excited. What we're gonna do first, start off with 10 seconds of jumping jacks just to get you warmed up, all right? right. So step back, feet together, jump all the way out, and back in. 10, nine, eight, keep going, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right, now next, after the warm up, you got your jumping jacks in. We're gonna start off on the step. Now, if you don't have a step at home, feel free to use your stairs outside or you can use a small chair that's not too high. So for the steps, what you're gonna do, step up, step down, up, down. Now, gradually increase your speed as you go. Okay. All right, we're gonna go 10 seconds. Ready? And let's go. Am I good? Yep, you're good right here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and relax. All right. Relax. Good job. Right. How you feel? A little warm. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling warmed up. Next knees step. Knees are good. Knees, knees are good. a little better. We're feeling good. Next step, we're gonna go into flexibility. So, right. this ball is gonna feel a lot heavier than you think it does. What I want you to do is hold your arms straight up like you're pushing the ball through the ceiling. Feet are shoulder width apart. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna squat down as low as possible. Come right back up. Okay. We're gonna go five reps for me. Right. This ball does feel heavier than, it, than, it, than yep. it should be. There you go. Down a little bit lower. Five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and relax. Next round, what we're going to do, chest up, holding that ball down by your thighs. You're going to lift that ball straight up above your head, down, up, down. Really want to open up your back muscles okay. and really unlock your core on this one. Right, okay. Chest up, two, one, let's go. Keep those arms straight. Five, up, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and relax. Good job. Hand that back. Take so count. <laughs> extra credit, don't you? <laughs> so what happens is with that exercise, it unlocks your core. It also gets your muscles opened up for when we go into a weighted exercise. All right. All right, after flexibility, we're gonna head over to the dumbbells for our strength training. Now with this, you don't really need a lot of weight because we're gonna combine three exercises. Okay. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna bend down, bending your knees to bend down, nice and safe, picking up the dumbbells. We're gonna start off with curls. Five reps of your bicep curls. Make sure you're rotating at the top. When you rotate at the top, squeeze. Don't go too far, just let your biceps do all the work. Okay. Once you come down, you're gonna bring those weights up, go into your shoulder press, chin up, right into that press. After that, you lock the weights down by your shoulders, feet your shoulder width apart. You're going back into those squats, down for five reps. Bring those weights down, lock out, and get ready for the next round. All right. All right, how you feeling? Feeling good. All right, let's get it going. So remember, feet hip width apart to start. All right. Chest up, chest up, weights down by your side, and you just rotate those weights as you curl. There you go, five, four. Take that swing out of your back. Three, two, one more, one. Now, what I want you to do is rotate those weights up to your shoulders, press straight out to the ceiling, keeping your elbows pointed in the head. Am I head. turning or no? Oh, no, you're just keeping them straight okay. ahead vertical. Perfect. There you go, four, three, two, and one. Now, load those weights up onto your shoulders. Move your feet to shoulder width apart okay. now, so you get a little bit wider. Right. Squat down, keeping that chin up. Five, four, three, two, one. Weights back down by your side. Let's go right back into the bicep curls. It was light work, but uh, the ball, I actually felt that in my core. It opened up my back before I even got into actually in this way too. Yeah, and then the reason for the circuit, the reason why we do all three exercises back to back, because it also increases your heart rate, and right. helps you burn more calories as you're doing the workout. So you can kind of get a cardio workout while you're doing strength training. Okay, so. All right. So we're gonna move these so weights out of the way. Don't have to run before my workout. No, nah, you don't have to run too much. <laughs> so you still gotta do a little bit. <laughs> so I'm gonna move these out of the way. Okay. We're gonna scoop these off to the side, and we're gonna go into a body weight exercise that you can do if you don't have the access to weights. Okay. So all we're gonna do is two exercises, which are the best two body weight exercises you can use for weights, squats and push-ups. So I'm gonna give you two variations. The first one, when you do your squat, you can go all the way down. 
and up. Doesn't matter where your hands are at because all the work is all about being in the legs. Right. So you're gonna go all the way down, all the way up, five squats. After that, you go down to the ground for the push-ups. Now, in your push-up position, I'm gonna move over to the side. You wanna have your body straight, core tight, chin looking down, not all the way down where your head's down, but just looking about eyes to the ground. You're gonna go all the way down and up. Now, if you're on your hands, you only wanna go to 90 degrees up. So as you see from here, not all the way down to the ground, but just to the 90 degree angle where you get that little box shape in your push-ups, back up. Now, if you can't do the full push-up all the way to the ground, do not worry about it. You can always drop your knees to the ground. If your knees are down, make sure your toes are down. That way you can get that full range of motion without having to burn out a little bit. So let's go with every variation Perfect. you're feeling. So five. I'm doing a five push, five squats. And then five push-ups. And then five push-ups. And then repeat. And then repeat, okay. All right, ready? Ready. Let's go. Five squats, five, four, three, two, two one. Down to the ground, push-ups, five, not too far, four, three, two, and one. Good job. How you feeling right now? I feel good. Uh, it was great uh, to be able to do the squats and then go into the push-up. I feel the blood flow through my whole entire body, so my, my body's feeling warm right now. Okay, and you see how you can get that pump without having to use all the weights? Absolutely, and I also feel like my heart is um, beating a little faster, so I'm getting a little cardiovascular exercise without actually having to run. Yeah. But you should run. You should still you run. You gotta run, you can't not run. <laughs> but uh, walk, yeah. run, crawl, however walk, you Walk, whatever there. you can do. <laughs> yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into core, cause you know, everybody wants to work their core, especially after the holidays, you don't want that gut spilling over your waistband. Okay, that's so. exactly <laughs> what I need. I just ate 15 pies, so. Okay, so we're gonna have to do a whole lot. Nah. <laughs> uh, but um, with the core drill, we're gonna start off with just some basic crunches, and then after that, we're gonna drop down to a plank. Okay. And the good thing about these two exercises, you can do them anywhere. So we're gonna start off on the step, and the reason why I like to do it on a step is because you can have your feet elevated, and with your feet elevated, you can actually go up and do a little bit more from there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay back. As you lay back, feet are elevated, you're just gonna crunch up and back down, up and back down. Lead with your chest up to the ceiling and back down. That's your first exercise. Then next, you're gonna drop down to the ground. We go into a plank position where you're on your forearms. Your elbows are right underneath your shoulders, as you go into that forearm plank, we're gonna hold that for 10 seconds. This concept is the same as the push-up. Your back is straight, your core is tight, your chin is down, and you're holding that plank. And if someone wanted to um, alter that to make that easier, what would they do? Same thing as a push-up, you'll drop your knees down. So with your knees down, what you can do is you have two options. You can drop one knee down and still hold the plank, or you can drop both knees down and still hold the plank from here. That way you're still getting to work in your core, but you're not putting all that pressure on your body. And for someone who's a little bit more advanced, what would you do? For somebody more advanced, you would probably go from here on your forearms, you'll go up into your hands, take one of your legs, stack them on top of the other, toes on top of heels. That way you get a little bit of a balance effect in there. Okay. All right. I just want to get all three variations <laughs> so that everyone can feel like they can do this workout at home. Yeah, definitely. And with planking, the best part about planking is you can do it anything while you're planking. You can be watching Netflix, you can be watching your favorite show, you can be on the phone, reading a book, whatever you need to do while you're planking. All right, let's hop onto the crunches. We're gonna do five reps and then we're gonna do 10 second planks. All right, legs up, lift with your chest, eyes to the ceiling, five, four, there you go. Three, two more, two, and one. Come on down to the ground for that plank, 10 seconds. For those at home, I recommend putting a pad there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and down for the forearms. Remember, you wanna have your eyes looking down, chin down, not tucked, but just down. Your body is good, everything is straightened. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and relax. How you feeling? Feeling good. Let's stretch it out. All right. So after every workout, it's important to stretch, but you only want to stretch when you're warmed up. So when you stretch, you want to make sure you're not stretching a cold muscle. Stretching a cold muscle leads to muscle tears. So whenever you want to start off your stretching routine, make sure you warm up first and try to do the static stretching, which are stationary stretches right after your workout. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the triceps, chest, and we're just gonna hit the quads. Okay. So first thing, bring that left arm up, 
push back on that elbow, reach back, make sure that elbow is pointing to the sky, and five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides for me, right elbow up, and five, four, three, two, one. Now take your hands out. What's the purpose of stretching in general, like from a expert's opinion, um, is it for recovery, is it to prevent injury? Maybe you could talk about that while, we, while we're doing the stretch. Well, stretching is all the above. Okay. So what happens to a muscle, when you're actually working out, you tighten up the muscle and you tear it down a little bit. So what stretching does, is it releases that lactic acid and it increases the elasticity of your muscle, also making it recover a little bit faster, cutting down on that soreness. And that's usually what keeps people out of the gym. Yeah, okay. Too sore, I can't work out. That's why we stretch. I well, then stretch it out. <laughs> well, I need to be doing more stretches yeah. then. Plus, stretching makes you stronger because as you lengthen the muscle, you can actually get more muscle onto that arm or leg, whatever you're trying to build up. Perfect. All right. So take your hands behind your back. You want to grab some behind your back. From here, you want to turn those hands out in that way so your fingers are facing the back. As you turn those out, you're just going to lift your chest, eyes to the ceiling. Stretch out that chest. And we're gonna go five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. That's Roll on chest stretch. It opens everything up, yeah. gets you loosened from the workout that you just did. Absolutely. Roll on shoulders back, just a couple of shoulder rolls. After that, I want you to grab your left leg. Now this is a little bit of a balance drill. So when you grab your left leg, have your hand out, Left leg out, knee pointed straight to the ground, thumb up, and stretching out that quad. And if you can't do this balancing, you can there, feel free to you can relax hold on, on to something. A, uh, I don't know, is there a stick or anything around here? Oh, uh, yeah, well, you know what you can do? You can hold on to me. Oh, <laughs> absolutely. You, what you'll so, do is you'll if you got a partner or if you got a, um, a chair or, or a table at home, you can hold on to it as you stretch. Yes, sir. And four, three, two, one, I'll switch sides for you so you can get the other leg. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> and five, four, three, two, and one, relax. So the next thing you'll do is you'll do a mobility drill right after everything. Take your arms, hold them up. You just do that big, deep shoulder roll. Now with this big, deep shoulder roll, you loosen all the muscles in your back, your neck, and everything you were just working. Bring those hands down. From here, you're just gonna bring your knees up. Nice and easy mobility drill. What it does is it loosens up the legs and kind of gets you ready for the rest of your day or gets you ready to cool down for the rest of the night. Now, last one, feet are a little bit shoulder width apart. Hands back into that forearm position. You're just gonna go into a trunk twist, side to side. Now, make sure you turn your pivot foot. As you pivot, you're keeping your core tight, stretching out your back and loosening it up. Feel that in obliques? Obliques, your yes. core, everything's gonna activate. And then relax, once you relax, shake everything out, get some water, hydrate, and we're done for the day. All right, and that's our workout, how'd you feel? Man, it feels awesome. All right, man, good job yeah, today. Uh, we got I, everything working. Thank you so much, Glenn. Thank you for um, giving the, the residents of Pasadena a, a taste of a basic workout that they can go through at home or anywhere they're at, even it, whether it be at work. So it's important, um, Pasadenians, to get out and get out and work out whenever you can. Um, take care of yourself because the only way you can take care of this great city is if you take care of yourself first. God bless you, love you. The benefits of personal training is you actually have a fitness professional guiding you to your goals. So whatever goal it is, is weight loss or muscle gain, you have somebody who's trained to actually get you to that goal in the fastest time possible. Well, working with a personal trainer in the gym adds accountability to you because what it does, it gives you a guide to use all the machines. Most people, when they come into the gym, they don't really know how to use everything outside of the free weights or maybe a couple of exercise machines. So with a personal trainer, we're the professional that walks you through every single machine, guides you through everything that you need to do and shows you how to use it effectively so that you can get the most out of your workout. It's very important for everyone to get active because that's how you stay alive longer. The more you're moving, the more you're gonna keep going, the more you're gonna stay alive on this earth. Now, staying active is not just for health reasons, for mental reasons as well. The more your body is actually moving around, the more your brain's actually working. So staying active just keeps you healthy a lot longer.